Alright lads, Halloween update. I'm gonna be going over pretty much everything you can see. Big old pumpkin from the teaser, I'm sure everyone recognizes this along with the grass. But in here there is a candle and it has a nice flame and it's actually animated. So that's pretty cool. Look around, there's a cauldron down here. There's some pumpkins around everywhere, there's a silhouette of a gorilla. Rest in peace. There's someone that was elevator climbing here. Now it kind of confuses me how they have both eyeballs and eyebrows when it's just a skeleton, but I mean it's not like this game is meant to be super realistic. You can see another fallen gorilla there. Huge graveyard over here. Uh, over here. Big old gorilla. This is not the normal gorilla. Over here we have rest in peace Lucy. Assuming that's this gorilla. We have a few more tombstones, some spooky decorations, some real nice stuff, real good job. For this part of what I'd like to show you, I'm gonna have to swap game as Paint Brawl as it just makes sense. Alright, here we are in city, we take a little look around first. You can see some spooky decorations, there's a web up there. You can see this guy took his arm, it's a little rude, I should give it back. In here, more tombstones. These gorillas are terrified. I have no idea what they're scared of. And then over here, the big old gorilla skull with the three little gorillas hanging off of it. I'm sure that has some importance, but really, I have no idea what it means. And then in here, we see someone's dealing pumpkins. Wow, full coconut. We've only ever seen half of the coconut, but there it is. Now, the thing that everyone's dying to see, the Halloween cosmetics. Halloween cosmetics. Doink 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 and doink 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 Here we have balloons. You can see this is why I wanted to show you guys because look we have balloons now and you can hit them. I want to see a lot more gamos popping up after these release because really you can come up with a few things with this. There's gonna be some and then of course there's some other balloons you just take them from behind your back. You can fling them around. Really quite fun. Over here we have the star which I can imagine a lot of people are gonna buy just because it's really pretty. Oh, and there it goes. It's just a chocolate bar it seems. Then here, we have a unicorn costume, isn't this cool? And then, you have the actual unicorn stick. It's pretty awesome. And then we got the robot, which is pretty awesome, but really, using this in a competitive game is not a... Here we have the robot, which is actually quite an awesome outfit, it's just using this in a competitive game would not be a good idea. And then we got an even bigger chocolate bar. My gosh, look at that. You should not eat all of that in one night. And here we have the clown outfit, which I think people will find interesting, because there was a pre-existing clown outfit, but this one just is kind of HD version, I guess. Believe it or not, there were actually some cosmetics I couldn't fit on, so I just went back and selected them again. Here we have... Spooky pumpkin. I'm sure a lot of people will be buying this along with this one as they're just pretty cool cosmetics. This one, cowboy. Also pretty amazing. They've done a brilliant job with this. Ginormous hat. It's pretty cool. There's a gorilla badge. Really nice artwork. And then the big old googly eyes. Look at that. They bubble. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then these. I remember having a pair of these when I was younger. Look at that. And then to finish it off, we have this kind of princess outfit kind of reminds me of Wonder Woman. It's pretty cool. I can imagine people using these along with the tiara. Alright, let's 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 check out mountains. I have a feeling that mountains will look pretty cool. I've been told that it looks nice during night time, so let's hope that it's night time right now. And why would you know? It is indeed night time. It's a beautiful red. You can see, if you go down there, chances are you're going to be hit by a tombstone. You can actually jump from one of these tombstones to another. Now I know that running up this hill can be a little difficult as usually the lava monkey has a speed boost and it's easy for them to get to you, but with these tombstones I feel like it will make it a little easier for people to escape from those situations. Alright, yeah, so if we go over here there's some big old monkey skulls, or what looks like monkey helmet. They really are kind of just in the middle of nowhere, they really did catch me off guard when I first saw them. Alright, so I'd rather climb up here just to give you a better look at it. You can see it kind of has a bone mohawk. It's pretty interesting. I think we've got caves and canyons, then that's it. Alright, I'll start off with canyons as I feel like there's the biggest feature in here, which is big spider web. 
You can see some more spider webs around. One of them big old green cauldrons. I'm pretty sure one of them is in every map. We go up here. Well, awesome climbing skills from many months ago. If we look over here in the houses, I just I just spotted something I actually hadn't seen earlier. So let's use my awesome parkour skills. And my gosh. Alright, let's make our way over to there where I can see a skeleton kind of just lying there. Come on in. Take a closer look at that. Alright, we got some candles and oh my gosh. Really quite a creepy area down here in the purple area. I feel like if I stand in that circle, something terrible is going to happen. I feel like all of these items will be useful and competitive, especially in areas like canyons and mountains where there is really isn't too many obstacles to dodge and weave off of. But I feel like this will add a... You know, some more competitive fun. And oh my gosh, big glowing green skull. That's that's pretty ominous. And of course, the cauldron that is in every map. All right, down here. Ooh, I can already imagine this is going to be pretty scary. There's some more graves. A lot, a lot of graves. I wonder how they got this many. And over here, we have my favorite thing in the whole update, the Vroom Monkey. Or well, that's what I've called it. You can see, this is a really mysterious area. Oh, a bat. I can imagine someone sprinting full speed towards me from here. And back here, I'm pretty sure there's another cauldron. Yep. There it is, along with a spooky face. And then over here is interesting. You can see, behind these crates, a monkey has been crushed. How sad. And here is a skeleton cult. My gosh. wonder who he is. That's really all there is to say. I hope you guys have seen some new things. Hope you guys like this update. Personally, I love it. I think it's probably the greatest update that's came out. The Another Axion team have done a really good job with this. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.